All right, so this will be a very brief, hopefully, review of Doors, okay? So the thing about Doors is that I began playing it, I think like a, like a year ago, like when it first came out, when it first you know became popular, uh, me and my friend played it, and I got astonished by the absolute quality of this game, right? Like everything from the camera movements to just like, like the fact that this thing is like, look at it. Like it, it's like it's like shaking along with the camera, like this like this, this like mouse thing, right? The fact that I can ring a bell, which you're not gonna hear any audio because my audio drivers are messed up, so I'm gonna like try and add some sound, and I forgot the key. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and add some sound, right? But this video is gonna be a chill, almost playthrough, and I'm gonna tell you about like basically everything that um I love about this game, right? The, because I have my audio muted, so it doesn't interfere with my mic. That like screech guy is gonna mess me up. But the thing here, right, is that Doors, I think, is an example of that it's really not that hard to make a good game, right? Anywhere, not just on Roblox. Because I've I see so much people. Oh, there we go, lighter. Amazing. Even then, see, like it's just nice to find these items, right? I see so many people be like, oh bro, it's so hard to actually make a good, you know, Roblox game. It's not. It's really not. Like, obviously, yeah, it's hard if you're just a solo developer making another it's, oh, dumb, oversaturated, oh, simulator game. Hey, guys, pet simulator. Obviously, no one's going to like that, okay? My entire point, though, is that Doors did something, I think, insanely well. And I want to I just talk about that in this video, right? Now, I'm no game developing expert. I know I have a whole channel and everything, but obviously, like, as far as game developers go, I'm at the very bottom. But what I love about this game is that it's not just a game, it's an experience. And like not in the sense I know Roblox is calling their like new games experiences, which I think is stupid. I'm saying experience in the literal term, okay? As someone who loves Subnautica, and I'm stalling in the room because I'm afraid that like if I go there I'm gonna get like killed or whatever. <laughs> but as someone who loves the game Subnautica, if you've ever played Subnautica, it's like this thing where you're like you know, you play like underwater, there's um you be like crashed on the, on this like alien planet, and it's a really, really amazing game, because it doesn't feel like you're playing the game. It feels like you're inside of the game. It's not a game. It's an experience. It's a real world, right? It doesn't feel like the world is around you. It feels like you're inside of this world, and I think Doors does that insanely well. The very first time you even play this game, it puts you where, in just a starter room. To this day, I don't know what this hotel is. I don't know why we're here, right? This game isn't trying to protect me. It's not building everything around me as this like main protagonist who's who's going to, you know, keep on winning. The game feels like it doesn't care about my existence, which I think is even scarier than the game is trying to kill me, right? Cuz if I just stay in this room, nothing's going to happen, right? I'm I'm choosing to interact with the world. And then the world interacts with me accordingly right? The world is neutral to me, and that's what's scary, because there's no, there's none of that security that a lot of more modern games have, where like, oh yeah, you know, you, you should win, haha, or like, you know, they try to, you know, do everything that they can to actually make the game fun, and then, you know, allow you to win. And games like Doors and Subnautica, they remove this feeling, right? I have no idea what any of this is. I have no idea why I'm here. The game leaves very, very little clues, right? And be that on purpose or not, I don't know, but it does feel like like with every with every monster you encounter, right? It it, do, it does feel like you're going against the odds, right? Even if, even if you're like amazing at the game, even if you know how to deal with all of them, there is still that grind. There's still that like hassle of like walking into a room and like let's see, is there any face here? I remember seeing some monster that like appeared on here. This painting entitled the light. Yeah, yeah. See, like. It's just these little things, right? Which is like, why is this even here? We don't know. There's no, to us, there's no reason for this to be here, which is, I think, what makes this game even more, more an experience because we have these things which are just incorporated into the world for no reason at all. Like, I remember, like I, I've, I've seen complaints about this game where like, oh, why can I interact with a painting if it's not, um, you know, if there's nothing inside of the painting? Well, that's, the, don't interact with the painting. The fact that you're you're able to interact with the painting is just shows like like 
it's weird it's weird to explain but I, i'm sure you know what i mean you know especially with the closets the fact that you can just go in, into just anything that you want the fact that you can open anything you want right it gives you this eerie sense of freedom in a way but also it kind of highlights this idea that like the game isn't trying to coddle you in any way right nor nor is it trying like you're not important to the game you're just you you exist right you're just here as a player and i lo i love this picture so much it's amazing um i think it's 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 this which gave doors the huge success that it did right i think i'm obviously like you know the small tweaks like the lighting is amazing uh, the sound effects are great just you know like some random knocking or whatever um there's no real like like twist in any like in any regard like especially with the sound i think right like like whenever you're just walking through obviously when there's a monster you hear some sound but like like the game doesn't have any like suspense music or whatever like you're just walking around and you you're just here right like i said the world doesn't ad adhere to you which i think is part of what this makes this game uh, part of what this what makes this game so interesting and obviously we cannot ignore the monsters right the monsters make up a i mean the monsters are the only reason why this game is even played right if i open up this door right now let's see are there any monsters i know they like added some new monsters like i haven't played play doors in a while i'll be honest i played during its like peak with, with my friend um but it's it, it is this weird suspenseful feeling that like I think the, the game, when you first start playing the game, there's there's this eerie feeling that something is wrong. And you know that something will happen because, you know, Doors does advertise itself as a horror game. I mean, the very first, like, image of Doors is that, like, monster peeking through the door. So you're like, okay, obviously this is, like, you know, something. Um, yeah, there we go. You can collect coins, you can interact. Like, why can I interact with this, right? Sure, you could say it's an unused feature, but, like, the fact that I can is great. The fact that I can hide under this bed. Can you imagine being a new player and being like, oh, I can hide under this bed, right? So next time, whenever you walk into a room and you see a bed, you're you're more terrified, right? Nothing scary is actually going on, but the fact that now you, you have this piece of information like, oh shit, I can hide under a bed. Why can I, why can I hide under a bed? Right, now your brain is thinking. Now your brain is thinking of potential scenarios. Why did they add this, right? What, what what do I need to hide from? It's it's this amazing sense of terror versus horror, and I think Doors does this insanely well. If you don't know, terror is when the mind scares you. Okay, horror is when the game scares you. So horror is when like the big monster appears on the screen and like terrifies you. So horror is an example of like um like that screech monster in the dark, right? Who, who like like ambushes you. But in the same way, terror is a build up to horror right you could call many games terrifying like you know many horror games but the issue of that is that obviously like terror will exist wherever there's horror by default when you when you hop into a, a horror game and you fully know that like you know you're gonna be scared at some point you're gonna have some monster jump out at you obviously there's some terror right but the issue of that is that when you're terrified throughout the entire game you kind of brace yourself for it right and that's it. The game loses all of its charm because all you're, you're you're just bracing yourself for like, okay, yeah, there's gonna be a jump scare soon. Okay, whatever. That's it. The terror is gone. But with doors, you you literally don't know what to expect, right? It's been it's what it's room it's room nine, and I haven't encountered any monsters. Imagine this is my first playthrough. You know, I'm like going around, interacting with the world, interacting with the objects. You know, I see this bed that I can hide in. I have no idea what I should be afraid of, nor what I should be looking at. And that just builds up my terror even more. I came in expecting to find some jump scare, but now I'm like, oh, I can hide under the bed. Probably will something chase me? As you can see, your brain begins thinking, and the moment I enter through this 10th door, nothing happens. It's still, as you can see, everything's normal, everything's the same until we encounter that one door. That one door. Or something's gonna happen. Did the lights turn off? Please don't tell me. Oh, I can't. I can't hear anything, bro. Now we should be fine. Okay. It's so eerie. Like nothing's happening. Like you're. <laughs> there, there gets a point where you're almost like you stop being terrified. You're stopping afraid. You're stopping on the lookout. And I think it's at that point 
that you stop being on the lookout when something does happen. I think it's it's precisely in those moments where something happens. Like, let's look at this door, right? There's just a closet. Why is there a closet here? Right? The more you explore this world, the more you're like, what is going on? There's nothing. That That's actually interesting. I, actually, I didn't expect it to be this far without any monsters. Yeah, I think, I think everything about the world building I've already said, I think when we approach our first monster, I think that's when I'll actually have a lot to say. I think these coins are fun to collect too. Like, I like how they added something for you to do. Ooh. Again, another addition. Like, what? I I heard a thought, bro. That actually, no, not heard. <laughs> I f the screen shook. What? Wait, actually. Did you just, <gasps> no. Oh, that scared me so much. Oh, that scared me so much. Oh, okay. Okay, again, I have no sound, boys. I have no sound. I did not expect that. Oh, holy. Do you see how quick that was, though? That is... Uh, obviously, playing without sound, I had a lot less um, ideas. But as you can see, like, even even then, like, some, some something starts to happen. My screen begins to shake, okay? If, if I had sound on, you begin hearing, you begin hearing like, like, uh, like something approaching, some light, you know, like breaking, and you don't know what to do. Maybe you enter the closet, but it's too early, and now it's about to kick you out, and you're like, what the hell do I do? I think that's what makes Doors such an amazing game. I think the thing about Doors is that it also encourages you to learn. It encourages you to learn after every mistake, right? I think... People quit doors. People people like are saying, "Oh, doors are boring," but that's because they've they've played far too long. Unable to access the microphone. Just okay, whatever. They've played the game for too like 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 an in, inhumane amount of time, right? Obviously, when you when you play more and more, you get better at the game. But that's the whole point, right? That's the whole point. We all died to our first monster. We all died to that monster. Who now we're like, oh yeah, this guy was easy, right? There gets a point where, yeah, you like you're not too afraid now because you've experienced what's to come. You've experienced that first, like adrenaline rush, you know, that first monster. It's now, now you feel safer. Okay, now you feel more secure. Is there a lock? No. Okay. Like like no no notice how the tension that I spoke about like it's it's dissipating, right? It, like it's it, it still kind of is eerie just because of the environment and just because like. That actually did freak me out. Like I cause I, I I'm not I don't hear anything and I just see this face approaching me. Damn, that was scary. Okay. I actually I actually think that would be such a good idea if they just removed the sound from Rush. Like look, maybe not remove the sound, but just like maybe add like the um like <laughs> like like the, like the like the lights breaking. Oh come on. I saw something with the lights. I saw something with the lights. I saw the lights. Is that just my my laptop being buggy? See, like, see, even right now, I'm afraid, right? Like, like if I if I had sound, I'd be much more confident. But I, th I feel like actually playing without sound was such a better experience because now I'm almost forcing myself to play like a new player, in the sense of like, like I have limited information, right? Obviously, when you're good at the game, like, yeah, you know everything, and yeah, at that point, it stops being scary when you know where to go. But again, it's it's this like sense of like weird thing where only every door you feel like you've survived but barely, and every time you open a new one, it, it feels like you're playing with the odds, right? Like I said, it feels like you're not supposed to survive this place. It really doesn't. Like like the, like these lights, for example, right? Am I supposed to be hiding right now? Is, is is Rush gonna appear? Because I saw the lights flicker. And then, yeah, and you, as you can see, just it prevents you, it doesn't let you hide for too long. Right? Doors doesn't encourage you to just stay in the closet. You have to keep on going. And actually, I, I really respect that. Yeah, there we go. Why did this fall? 
just to add to the to the atmosphere right i like obviously obviously now you might look at that and be like oh yeah obviously like like common sense yeah of course that's scary but so many games don't do this they don't add this extra little sense of fear because to 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 a lot of modern horror games all they care about is just that actual like like oh, oh like that scream factor there we go see there we go now we've learned now we know okay we need to hide whenever we see those those lights flicker we have to hide there we go now we can leave amazing yeah now we get to this little room we're like oh what what is this um i'm not too sure what to say about this room honestly i i i think i think they they, they wanted to incorporate more puzzles puzzles into the game and i i think that they decided to just like i mean i i guess there are puzzles like i with the like that you know uh like the door 50 monster and everything what's his name figure or something like they definitely do have um puzzles later on but i I do like that room. I think it's a nice change of pace almost. And why is there a shadow? Okay, whatever. Yeah, just just like that. And this is where we encounter our first like Yeah, our first interaction. Oh, come on, don't tell me that. Oh, is this one of those things where like Okay, any is this is the is the is the guy, is the little guy here? No. I like this room as well. This like all of these rooms feel like something's about to chase you in them, you know? Like the terror builds up as you walk through the door, and this is amazing because the developers like they did I like I, I know for a fact that they're like like I <laughs> like obviously they weren't gonna add anything. This wasn't like a scrapped like I've seen people talk about like, oh, why is this room here? Was this like a scrapped idea for like a like a chase sequence? No, it wasn't. They just made a room. Right? Like they they, they like I'm not saying they were some expert geniuses, but I think they definitely knew a good amount about what makes a game scary. Even this, this room is where like um, you get chased, right? But that that's I believe like after door 30. So they just add this randomly, right? To give you again this perception of like, oh, what is going on? The game's entire purpose, at least in the early stages, is to mess with your mind, right? It's to give you a sense of eeriness and then kind of security and then it takes that security away by introducing something new or again by flashing these lights which are which are always kind of annoying um yeah so as you can see now you know we're more accustomed to all of this right we're, we're we, we kind of understand like okay that's how the game works okay yeah the, the lights flash the monster appears you know blah blah whatever okay so we we, we can we can actually deal with this and then you you go and you see this light. To a, to a beginner player, what do you think they're going to do with this? Like, what do you think? Like, they walk in, they see this purple light. What do you think they're going to do? They're going to go and look at what's causing the light. But is that what you should be doing? No. Because if you look at it, it's going to damage you. Right? I think it's, it's like the eyes monster. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it sure scared me. Okay. Or something like this. Oh, I hate I, I hate playing this without audio. Come on, any are you are you here? No. Okay. Again, when you play without much information, like I am right now with the um, the sound off, I actually recommend you play playing this game without with the sound off. Like I know I know I just you know co like complimented how this game has amazing sound, amazing uh, sound effects, especially the soundtrack is amazing. For for the chase sequence. I cannot tell you how much I love the chase sequence. Okay, like the moment, the moment if I, if I manage to live to the chase sequence, bro, I'm gonna I'm gonna play that song. I'm I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna download it. I'm gonna play it. Okay, so you get the full experience. Ooh, mm. okay. I've noticed as well that your screen begins to shake as the um the monster like like the the, the eye approaches. I found that really interesting. Oh. Oh oh no oh no 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 no. Oh no, oh no, no, no. Is it really? See, sometimes it just does that. It just flashes lights for no reason. You saw that, right? It flashed the lights for no reason other than to just scare me. I like... This game, again, relies all about just making you feel as unsafe as it can. 
Or unless or unless that was like the where the eyes begin spawning. Oh, okay. Why did I why did I consume that? I don't know. Who knows? It's fine. We're running through. We're running through. We're good. We're good. Oh come on, really? Please don't scare me. Please don't scare me. Please don't scare me. Please don't scare me. I'm actually terrified. I'm actually terrified. I'm terrified. Are you here? No. Why is it why is it doing that thing? Is Rush is Rush here? Come on. Okay, there we go. Okay, yeah, there we go. So yeah, when you get more accustomed with it, it every it just kinda becomes easy, right? Look at the number. Zero zero three four. I heard they added a monster where like it like yeah. Yeah. If I hadn't just done that right now, I'd be at a 50-50% chance of walking into the wrong door. So that door is 0034. But now we're faced with two options. 0035, which is the correct choice. Or 0036. The, like... The, the game just does this. And every time you kind of, you know, encounter this issue... Like, is there two doors here? No, there isn't. Okay, good. This game does encourage you to learn and grow from, like, your mistakes. And there we go. Now we have the eyes. I don't know if Rush is going to appear. I saw the, the the lights flicker. Although I think that's just for the, um... I think that's just for the eyes. I don't think Rush is going to... Yeah, okay. Yeah. And I love how every painting just is, gets replaced with this thing. This, yeah... You know, call me insane, but I think that... Okay, fine, maybe for a Roblox game. Okay, maybe, maybe yeah, like, fine, some games have had better, like, builds up. But I feel like this game, the build-up to the Seek Chase scene is one of the greatest fights, or, I don't know, escapes of literally any game that I've ever played. Like, truly. Like, I don't think there there's, has been a single game with a better mini-boss mini, mini boss than Seek. Like, build-up and song alone. Even. But even, you, like, the gameplay can be, I guess, a little mid, but I, it's it's this weird thing of, like... Like, 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 okay, fine, we've encountered some monsters, but, like, it's been fairly calm so far, right? Like, the game doesn't take itself, like, too seriously, it feels like, you know? Like, like it doesn't feel like the game is really that serious, you know? Like, yeah, we, 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 we found some monsters here and there, but the game, just, you know, very chill ambience, chill music. And then you just see this... The, the, the eyes are following you. It's like, what is going on? Right? And so you're walking. The eyes are gone. You don't know what to expect. You think that was just some little stunt. And then out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. The camera just switches. You get this guy running up to... He's running towards you right now. Go. And it, you just get this thing. And it's just... I love the prompt. I love the prompt. Because the game knows you're going to be... Like... like the, the game knows that, like, you know, this is going to be for beginners. Oh, this is terrifying. Yeah, and then it's like... It highlights, and then, and then the prompt disappears. Oh, come on. Yeah, this, you can't hear the sound, but... Oh, this is so laggy, my bad, boys. <laughs> you can't hear the sound, but it, it, it always sounds like he's so close to you as well. Yeah, and then the, the door just shuts close on him. And it's an interesting piece of lore as well. Like, why does the door shut close on him? Because they, they've never done that before. And so that just... And, and now and now that's it, the music is gone. You're back to this. No, no like, victory, no big victory music, no character, like, panting, like, like some speech, like, oh, what happened? What was... I need to get away, like, some... Like, a lot of horror games do this, and it's so terrible. It just happens unexpectedly. It forces you to run, to panic, to... It tests your skills that you've learned so far, and then that's it. It just just stops. And you're back to this. You're back to the hotel. You're back to doing what you were doing before. How cool is that? And now you're on door 447. Like, you've, you've skipped a multi multitude amount of doors. And I'm not sure if it's just me, but I feel like as you go along, like on and on, I feel like the paintings that like look weird, like this one, I feel like these paintings become more often, like more common. I could be wrong, but I don't know. I just, I feel like they do. Yeah, a lot of tight corridors, a lot of very unnatural thing. And then you, you encounter this room, which looks normal. And then you meet this huge door. And then you enter and, oh, 
what's going on. You see this figure, and then it just runs off. And that's a nice hint as well, right? It's a, it's, a, it's a nice hint to, like, how this figure works. Like, okay, something fell, it ran towards what fell. Does it have any eyes? Like, any, any visible eyes? No, it doesn't. As you walk around, you start to follow these lights. You, like, you've, all, you've already learned at this point that the lights are, are guiding you, right? Guiding lights. I mean, that's the name of, like, the song. Um, yeah, and as, as, you, as you kind of walk around and explore, you begin to realize that you can pick up books. Um, and I'm, I'm pretty sure you actually like you can actually hear the books. I'm pretty sure, which obviously again for me right now is dif is difficult to do because I have volume turned off. Um, but even back then, I didn't know that these the books emitted sound. Oh, what's going on? Like you 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 hear this like you like you can feel his stomps. It's such a nice addition to the game. Oh. Yeah, like from just afar, you can just see how this game moves and everything. There we go. Okay, we we got we got one book, and then it it, it gets added onto our tour hint. We got the third book, and then you slowly begin to realize, like, oh, this is what I have to do. Oh no! Oh no! No 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 no! Oh no 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 no! no. Oh, I didn't do that. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Closet, closet, closet! Now, now, now! Oh, and it does this nice thing too. This mini game. Or heartbeat. I really love this. I don't know why, it's just nice. I think I think especially the music that plays and the, just the sound effects and everything. It's like the game telling you like, okay, you have this like second chance, don't mess it up. And then there we go. I think it just adds on to the tension as well. I think that that's why I, I like this minigame so much. Because you you just felt tension while running away from him, right? And now the game is like, okay, like it adds on to your attention, right? Like you're, you're already kind of stressed. You're already like, oh damn, like this guy's chasing me, right? Like this is the monster. He's chasing me. Like what the hell do I do? You, you just run. The, like the, the only thing you know how to do is just run into, you know, the closet and hide. So that's exactly what you do. You're, you're terrified. You, you don't know if you'll make it. And then at the moment you make it into the closet, closet, you're almost like, phew, you know? And then you get that little mini game. And then you have to like concentrate you know and you know that if you fail oh if you fail he's gonna just kill you basically which i don't think he i don't think he actually is i think like it takes <laughs> some a couple more attempts for him to uh, kill you yeah without sound this game is a lot more terrifying i actually anyone anyone who plays doors i seriously recommend for an extra challenge for an extra like horror element play this game like you know, ah, without sound. And I guess to actually end it off here, I mean, yeah, then you do the puzzle, then you keep on going until you reach, like, room 100, and then you win the game. But that's basically it. Like, you just, everything that I've said now applies to the future levels. You keep, you keep on going, you keep on learning from your mistakes, you keep on just, you know. And I, I think that I, what I like this game is, like, like, let's say I was playing without sound, and I don't know what's going on, right? I'm walking around. Like I, and then yeah, just jump scare like that, instantly dead. And I like how quickly the game transitions to like this calm state, like it, like the music that it plays is very calm, you know the. And it's like this weird text that just that that's just telling you how to defeat it. Backs into a corner, hide. Yeah. And then it just tells you like yeah, you can revive for thirty robux. Um, Die to figure, reach door 150. It gives you the, these nice little knobs, which you can, I think, use to like buy stuff. And that's basically the entire game. What makes door so special? I think, again, like I said, it is that fact of it being an experience. It is that fact of feeling like, like you're almost intruding on their world, right? Because like, like I said, the world doesn't feel like it revolves around you. It feels like you're just in there. And you're just able to pick out clues and everything and figure out what what's happening and what's going on and how you can actually like prevent that situation from happening again. This game does rely on you dying, right? Because like if you let's if you were to play this game, you know, like like blind, you know, without any guides or whatnot, you will die, 
whatever. Like, well, like you, because imagine like you walk into a room and like the lights begin flickering, and you're like, what the hell do I do, right? Maybe maybe you don't even know that you can enter closets. You're like, oh, the lights are flickering. What now? And you hear this thing approaching and it just kills you. And then it tells you like, oh yeah, hide in the closet. And you're like, okay, so I'll do that. Um. Yeah, I think that's that's really all of my door ret retrospective, and I feel like I feel like a lot of people who have played doors can agree with this. That. I think that's why it got so popular because Doors does feel like an experience and a game that feels like an experience is one of those games that people can just attach themselves to and just be fond of and make memories of, right? Like my, my Instagram handle is at Subnautica underscore man and the reason it's that is because I love Subnautica. Subnautica is to me is a masterpiece. It's it's peak. I love it. It's an, it's, an, it's amazing fiction. But I don't say this because of really even the gameplay. I just say this because of the fact that Subnautica feels and portrays itself like a world that you aren't supposed to be in, right? You're insanely tiny in there. Nothing cares about you in, in that world, right? It's up to you to survive, right? And it, it's more realistic and it's, it's, it's just more sensible that way. And it lets you put yourself in the eyes and the shoes of the character, as opposed to some games where, again, everything just kind of, you know, caters to you like, oh, hey, do this or hey do that or like some quick time events or like um like script like I, I i really hate it when games do this one like they script events you know like you walk into a room and then that's when like you know something like door doors is different but i'm saying like on like horror games you know like there are there are many games where like you walk into a door and it's like oh, then the, like the monster starts like chasing you or whatever right but like there's no build-up it just happens i think doors does it does this insanely well because obviously doors has to do this because that's the whole point of the game right you enter a door and you you encounter something new but i think doors does does an amazing job of not only preparing you for this through like all of your previous deaths it does this by also building up the tension throughout the entire game right so you don't know what to expect it's not unexpected to open a door and like see some jump scare because you or not not jump scare but like you know something that's like scary like like an indication that you're about to die if you don't do anything you kind of expect that and that's where the terror element comes from and it's again it's that feeling that this isn't your world that almost makes you want to conquer it even more it makes you want to reach the end and understand like what's the ending to the game like what what is this game about you know what do i get and i think that's what makes this game for a lot of people hooking, you know, and addictive until they reach the end. Once they reach the end, the game kind of stops being too fun. But is that a problem? Or is that just an indicator of amazing story building? Because I feel like an amazing story is one that should be experienced once. You know what I mean? Or maybe I'm blabbering on, I don't know. But this is my Doors retrospective. Comment below your opinions. I'm, I'm, I'm glad to read like I don't know 30, 20 percent of them. <laughs> this depends, assuming on how many comments this video gets. And yeah, we are back to basics. Thank you for watching.